Right, uh, in this video, we're going to have a very important lesson when we'll be looking at uh, integration by parts. So we are also going to proceed by means of examples. But however, it is also good to note that we need to also start to first of start out by how, what is it that we do exactly when we are integrating by parts? Basically, it means you'll be having a, a product of two functions. That is, we have two functions that are multiplying each other. Therefore, which means when you are integrating by parts, you need to be able to know that your formula for integration by parts will be given by integration of f of x multiplied by g dash of x uh, dx. If you are integrating this function, it means it gives you uh, it gives you rather here f of x multiplied by g of x minus the derivative of f dash of x multiplied by g of x dx. So the most important thing is you must know that this here is the part that you need to deal with. So we are having a function f of x, which is multiplied by the function g dash of x. So you need to be very careful if you choose which function to make f of x, as well as which function to make g dash of x. Right, for example, uh, let's proceed by means of examples. If I give you, uh, in this case, uh, integration of x e to the power x, dx so can you see we have two functions here the first function here is x then the other function is e to the power x so as you choose the function that you let to be equal to f of x must be the function that is easy to differentiate for example here it's very easy to differentiate x because when you know that when you differentiate f dash of x when you differentiate x you get exactly one then which means the one that we are left with you are going to let it uh, be you let g dash of x be equals to e to the power x so g dash of x if you go to g of x it means you are going to be integrating so when you integrate g dash of x you get g of x then when you integrate e to the power x, you get e to the power x. So now, which now means as we proceed, uh, this now means there that integration of x e to the power x dx will be now equals to, first you go for your f of x, and my f of x here is x. So, which means it will be x multiplied by g of x. My g of x is here. So, which means it will be multiplied by e to the power x minus integration of integration of f dash of x. My f dash of x is equal to 1 here. So, which means it will be 1 multiplied by g of x my g of x is here which is e to the power x dx so going forward which now means here it will be now equals to x e to the power x minus integration of e to the power x dx so this is now much easier to integrate which now means it will be now equals to x e to the power x when you integrate e to the power x you get e to the power x plus our constant of integration c so that's exactly how you integrate that function e x e to the power x dx so as i summarize you must make your f of x must be the function that is easier to to differentiate your g of x you must choose the function that is easier to integrate right let me let's have another example uh, for example now again if we are given uh, integration 
of x squared e to the power x dx. Good. Another very good function again there. Uh, e to the power x dx there. Another function again that is we must be able to integrate. So again, we must be able to know that when you are given two functions, let's take our formula again. We are saying there, if you are given two functions, that is f of x integration of f of x multiplied by g dash of x is equals to f of x multiplied by g of x minus integration of f dash of x multiplied by g of x dx. So this now means here, this will be now equal, which now implies there that um, again, as we do this, we look at it. If I rewrite it again, integration of x squared e to the power x dx, I'm now again going to let my f of x be equals to x squared, which now means here f dash of x is equals to 2x. Again, if I give you g of x equals to e to the power x, which now implies here that uh, g dash, uh, in this case it will be g, uh, actually g dash of x equals to e to the power x, g dash, which means is that the derivative, g dash of x is equal to e to the power x, then you integrate g dash of x, you get g of x, which is in again e to the power x. So as you proceed, which now means here, we are now saying, uh, which now implies there, that integration of x squared e to the power x dx is equal to f of x multiplied by g of x. So our f of x is x squared. So it will be x squared multiplied by g of x, which is e to the power x minus integration minus integration of, in this case, will be again integration of um, f dash of x, of which my f dash of x is given by 2x and my g of x is e to the power x dx. So which now means here yeah, it will be now equals to x squared e to the power x minus the 2 is a constant. We can take it outside the integral sign, which means it will be 2 integration of x e to the power x dx. Um, and again, as you can see, this part now, x e to the power x dx, we again must be able to integrate it by using, again, integration by parts. So I'm, I'm going to call this um, result number one. Or then from there, which now means on the next step now, I need to integrate uh, x e to the power x dx. So, which means again, uh, I must be able to use my formula, which is again, integration of uh, f of x, g dash of x dx is equal to, as you integrate it, it will be f of x, our formula, remember, g of x, f of x, g of x, uh, minus integration of f dash of x, uh, g of x, g x. So you are going to let again, let your f of x, let your f of x, uh, in this case, be equals to x and also let and also which now means 
uh, which now implies there that f dash of x is equals to 1. Then going forward, it now means here I will let my g dash of x is equals to e to the power x, which now means here as I integrate it, it gives me my g of x is equals to e to the power x. Therefore, going forward, this now means here uh, integration of x e to the power x dx. It now means it's now equals to uh, f of x. My f of x here is x. So it will be x and my g of x, I have it here, which is e to the power x minus integration of f dash of x now we are here on f dash of x of which my f dash of x is one so it will be one my g of x is e to the power x dx therefore which now means it will be x e to the power x minus integration of e to the power x dx so going forward uh, it now means here it will be now equals to x e to the power x when you integrate e to the power x uh, this give us e to the power x so this is number two so number two what number two is telling us that it's, te it's simply telling us that when you integrate x e to the power x dx you get this one which i'm highlighting here so which means here you must come back and substitute it into this first equation there so which means substituting it into that equation it now means here so substituting it into one is to substitute it into one it now means here uh, remember on equation number one we are doing for everything so which now means uh, as you substitute it it's going to be integration of x squared e to the power x dx is equals to according to equation number one there we are saying it's equals to x squared e to the power x minus 2 integration of x e to the power x dx so as you substitute it it will be now equal to because this part we have integrated it and is equation number two so which is result number two rather so which means here it will be x squared e to the power x minus 2 open bracket uh, this we have integrated already and we are saying it's x e to the power x minus e to the power x plus our constant of integration c so removing the brackets there it now becomes x squared e to the power x minus 2 x e to the power x minus 2 e to the power x plus our c which is our constant of integration uh, thank you so much may god bless you can you also watch the next video as i continue explaining on integration by parts thank you